Hello everyone, hope you're well. As you can see, put up the Christmas tree. Proud of my, proud of my work. <laughs> uh, I have to be honest with you actually, this is probably the first tree I've put up in years. Uh, my family's not here, so I don't really tend to celebrate Christmas. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not bar humbug or anything. I love watching other people get excited over Christmas. I actually love Christmas. I just tend to not bother to do anything for it. <laughs> I don't expect anyone to buy me presents. I love Christmas TV. I think that's probably the best, the best time of the year is watching all the Christmas movies. Yeah, today is my rest day. So I am actually just gonna go into central London and just stroll around and buy some stuff for the tree, maybe buy some presents as well. Uh, yeah, just a chill day. Once a week, I like to have like a recharge day. I've talked about this on my channel before. I just switch off and just do my thing. So um, yes, I am going to be carrying the camera and filming, but uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just something I enjoy doing. So, and I'm going to take you along with me. So we're going to take a stroll down central London. You can see what it looks like Christmas in London. So for, if you're not if you're not in London or if you're not in England, uh, this is uh, yeah. If you want to see what England looks like during Christmas, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah. <sighs> And the tree's finally done. I was absolutely covered in glitter and there's probably still a, a lot more on the floor. Um, yeah, don't don't judge my <laughs> tree decorated skills. This is probably the first time I've ever decorated a tree. So um, yeah. You're 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 South African, right? Uh, I'd so like you, to I'd like to think so, yeah. So when you gave me the time of two o'clock, you should have expected me to be. Well, don't worry. My late. best mate is Australian, and if we've got a booking at two p.m., I have to tell him it's one p.m. Okay. So if you're telling me I need to treat you the same, <laughs> I'm I'm cool with it because I've learned the ways of doing that. <laughs>
It's always a crossword to look. Crossword, crossword, crossword. Ginger Pookie out. Yeah. <laughs> to head out to CrossFit Putney but before I leave I thought I would uh, have a chat a quick chat because uh, there's something that's been on my mind pertaining to my channel I've kind of been having a battle uh, and a battle with myself whether in January I want to go back to just doing the fitness stuff so hear me out so when I obviously I've talked about my channel used to be fitness predominantly fitness I would say 80% of people who subscribe to my channel was because of the fitness stuff and um, You choose another way of earning income and I, and fitness was one of them. And uh, I have been in the predicament where I think maybe I need to go back to doing the fitness stuff. So I was thinking maybe do that in January. However, I love doing the vlogs. I love, love, love doing the vlogs. It, it's a passion project for me. Ironically, the fitness stuff's easier to film, easier to do because fitness is second nature to me. The vlog's actually harder to film the way I do my vlogs anyway. I need your advice, what do I do? Because <laughs> I, do, I, am, I am almost fighting myself. Do the fitness stuff and the vlogs together? Do I just go back to doing the fitness? Because I know a lot of you follow me for the fitness. And I know that if I start another channel, it will be another slug of trying to build that channel. There's some YouTubers out there that have that power, that pulling power to get most of the audience to follow another channel. I don't think I'm at that stage and I'll be kidding myself if I thought I was. So I'm being realistic, you know, at the same time, I'm also sponsored. A lot of my sponsorship is fitness brands. Enough of that, time to go to the gym. 
<laughs> Shun show. Got tickets? Gun show now. <laughs> Bird dog row is one of my favorite exercises to build a strong core. I always make sure to engage my glutes and my core as if you notice as I row up, it creates instability. Having my palm face down on the bench rather than gripping the bench at the end makes this even harder. So make sure when you row up, you're engaging your core. If you look at this side, it shows you how hard my obliques is working to keep me in the center and to stop me going from side to side. Next up is a stability ball, pike and a jackknife. Now again, engage your core, engage your glutes, Make sure you take a deep breath in and then perform the exercise. I'm using the plates to help me with better stability so that it's not too much on my shoulders. You can do this without the plate, but it just makes it easier to focus on your core with using the plates. So again, make sure you fully engage your core and perform the movement nice and slow. Don't rush this. Next one is called an extreme plank. I'm going all the way out, making sure, again, engage your glutes, engage your core. You're not going to go on your elbows like a normal plank. I go as further out as I can and try and keep that straight line. Now, I could probably even do this better as I'm watching this, but this is really difficult. Now, once I feel like I am sinking too low to the floor, then I come back up. So basically hold it as long as you can. A very underutilized uh, core exercise. So using the band to create tension, to keep your lower back flat on that floor, engage your core. Every time you extend your legs out, your core will be working really hard to keep that leg out and your lower back flat on that floor. This is what makes it a great core exercise. It is so much more effective than you think. It looks silly like a lot of the other exercises you've seen, but trust me, they are absolutely incredible for building a strong core.
Come on. <laughs> hey, precision. Was I right? Oh! <laughs> I was right. You're right. Yes. You're right. I was right. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. That's cute, right? That's so cool. sweet. Thanks, right? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.